Ladies and gentlemen, we made our way to San Clemente Dog Park. And I am so sad because my mount for my GoPro just broke. I don't know if you can see. It's like the little clip. Yes, I'll fall eat, sir. See how this goes, dude. I haven't been on my bike in two weeks since Mexico. I mean, I've been on a bike. But I haven't been on my bike specifically. Especially with the new coil too, I haven't really messed with it. So today is kind of like first day back really on my bike. I rode in Oak Park with this coil and the new kinematic setup, but I haven't really rode it, rode it. Like I haven't given myself enough time to really get comfortable and get a feel for it. But that first lap we did on those jumps felt pretty good. Second try, he's at it. This dude has been through a lot. He broke his frame, I wanna say like a month ago, and or actually like three months ago. He had to wait those three months to get a new frame, and he just recently cracked his wheel, got a new wheel, and he's shredding again, but he was out for like four or five months. He's got a nice set of jumps near his house, so he's always sessioning those. Getting some practice in. Yo, this is super loose. That was money. So we finished sessioning that jump. We're gonna do a full run on this one. Dude, this is so sandy. I know, dude. Your your run up is a beach yeah. on this second jump. Yeah, it's going good. Little by little, as we're warming up, I'm starting to feel a little more confident on this coil. Left. It's that right there. That little jump thing? Yeah. Right okay. Into that little drop. That is so different. <laughs> oh. It's nice those berms are so built up. Yeah, you, you could hug them and you won't. Because without those, you're really sketched. Wow. This is it, right? Yeah, I lost control. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Yeah, I'll follow you. So we came up. Magellan just sent it. We wanted to get a full run on it. We'll see what we get into now. We're doing the climb back up to where all those jumps were. Handle the scandal, my friend. I'll try to stay close. Sick understeer. We're cleaning up these jumps we want to both try to hit that that third jump on the other section Definitely could have been cleaner. But I got the feel of it, which is good. This jump line is so much fun. I think it's probably my favorite, my favorite one here. Money. And even more speed. He's clearing this gap pretty nice, so I wanted to kick back and, and get him on video. Trying to go for the third one. There's first one, second one, third one. Wow, dude, this guy is flying today. He wanted to get one more flick for Instagram. No, never! You gotta be a monster. I was gonna hit it, but we can just send it off afterwards. I wanna try to give this gap a go. I forget which way we hit. We went high line. This one to the to the top. 
There it is! And dirt surfing. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're surfing so hard on that section. We're gonna let him go first because he was saying he doesn't have any goggles. So he was basically just catching all the dust. That was fun. We were looking at this thing that we saw at the car wreck. It looks like another trail. Wow. This is some like sandy stuff. This thing is massive. Yeah. Area 51's is very cool set of jumps. And there's so many of them, like back to back to back. I was telling him the next time we're in this area, I want to warm up on the jumps up top and then maybe try to session this area that we just passed. I just got a really bad cramp. Oh, that sucks. I got it right here on my thigh and it's just squeezing. All right, that cramp that I got earlier was pretty intense. So my, my thigh is feeling a lot better. Yes, tomorrow's session, even better. Yeah, we'll text then and yeah, let me know. I am so glad to be riding back in SoCal. I mentioned earlier that it had been like two to three weeks since I've actually been on my bike. And this is only the second time that I've ridden with this coil. So the first time it was kind of an introduction and then this time I feel like I'm starting to really get comfortable on that thing. And I know it's only gonna get better. The more I ride, the more I practice, I get more and more comfortable with that setup. So I'm pretty stoked on how today went. It is quite a drive for both me and Magellan. I think it takes me about an hour and 10 minutes to get there and it takes him an hour and 40 minutes to get there. So it is it is kind of a mission, but there's so much there and there's so much to ride that it, it makes it worth it really. Like it's like a mini bike park and you're just exploring, you're trying new trails, hitting new stuff, and they're always building there, which is cool. So every time we've gone, it's like there's a new feature or a new setup, and it's just, it's addicting. It really is. I also think I need to start um, drinking a lot more electrolytes and just carrying them in my pack. Also like an emergency granola bar, like some nuts, just because I got so hungry halfway through this ride, and I ate breakfast, so that's why I got kind of like thrown off, but I don't know. I was just pretty hungry and a, a granola bar would have hit the spot for sure. And I cramped up 
towards the end of the ride and it was a pretty bad cramp like on my thighs so i think i just need to implement i don't know more electrolytes more water maybe eat some bananas i wasn't feeling too sandy today i kind of wanted to just relax and enjoy the ride which i did and i think i had a lot of fun we got some jumps in we got some downhill so it was a good mix of everything that is gonna wrap up this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you on the next one peace